The open seas, the glistening waves, the yummy buffets, the beautiful paradise-like beaches and islands. There are many reasons why people opt for a cruise vacation instead of a standard one. Now, there is the standard cruise ship experience. You all know the one. Small, cramped rooms, single beds that feel more like a coffin, mediocre food, and basic destinations that, while some are beautiful in their own right, aren't exactly mind-blowing experiences. But that's not what we're here for. No, no. You want to see luxury, the best in the business, the most expensive, top of the line. And that is what we're going to be showing you today, because we'll be boarding the most expensive and luxurious cruise liner in the world. Come aboard, because this will be one heck of an expedition. 123 days, 11 countries, and 41 ports. That is how many days you'll be staying and the amount of countries you'll be visiting on this cruise for a whopping price tag of $1.2 million. To begin with, let's look at the cruise ship itself, belonging to the brand Regent Seven Seas Cruises. It's billed as the most luxurious ship ever built, and it's simply stunning. There are almost 500 massive crystal chandeliers on board, and every deck is fitted with marble grand staircases and large open windows. There's also 375 cabins aboard the ship, and each one is a suite itself, with a private balcony included. Even the smallest of suites come with king-sized beds, walk-in closets, and rainfall showers. But just like we're not here to talk about any normal cruise ship, we're not here to talk about any normal suites either. We're here for the most expensive one, the Regent Suite. The Regent Suite is the pinnacle of cruise ship hospitality, complete with two full bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. It's not only the biggest room on the Regent Seven Seas Cruises, but it's the largest suite ever on any cruise line. The sprawling Regent Suite measures at 4,443 square feet. That's nearly twice the size of the average American home and more than three times the size of the Royal Caribbean's Ultimate Family Suite, which is the second biggest cruise suite in the world. Separate living and dining areas fill the suite along with pricey handmade furnishing and art such as Picasso's. There's also a marble-clad in-suite spa with a sauna, steam room, and jacuzzi. Unlimited spa sessions are also included with the package deal. If you don't want to use the many public pools on the ship, your suite comes with its own pool where you can swim and watch beautiful sunsets. A private wraparound balcony ensures the best views on the ship. Perhaps the centerpiece of this overly ostentatious room is the master bedroom though, which occupies a whole wing in of itself. The king-size bed is apparently worth $200,000, so it better be the most comfortable bed on a luxury ship as well. The ship is also fitted with other ways to relax and entertain yourself, including a luxury two-story theater, culinary arts center, dance floor, hot tubs, multiple pools, a casino, and even a library. If you're looking to stay fit during this four-month trip, there's also a fitness center, jogging track, shuffleboard, putting courses, paddle tennis, bocce courts, and a golf simulator, as well as Pilates and yoga classes for guided instruction. Also for the food, don't even get me started. Now, this isn't your typical overcrowded buffet room, not even close. This is five-star dining at its finest. There are two main lunch restaurants and six for dinner. Items like caviar and lobster are generously represented on all menus. You'll also be served with Versace tableware at every restaurant. There's the main dining hall called the Compass Room, which is the largest specialty restaurant at sea, and a reservation-only restaurant called Pacific Rim. And no, not that Pacific Rim. But if you're not in the mood for dressing up and fine dining, there is 24-hour room service that is always an option, which can be brought to you by your private butler. And it won't be just any butler, it'll be the head butler for the entire vessel. Upon embarking on this trip, you won't immediately be in the Regent Suite because the first part of the vacation starts in London on November the 11th, 2021. You'll be flying first class on Emirates from London to Dubai. Then you'll be whisked away by helicopter to your hotel, the Burj Al Arab, the most expensive hotel in Dubai and the best hotel in the world. The $4,000 a night hotel suite is where you'll be staying. Your day in Dubai will be a mix of leisure and adventure because you'll be taking a desert safari tour. From there, you'll set off on another private jet to Hong Kong, where you'll be staying at the Ritz-Carlton. Your next two days will be spent in Hong Kong exploring an island and sacred monastery. Then, and only then, you'll finally begin your voyage of the seas. You'll take a limo to the luxurious Regent Seven Seas Explorer and set sail on your ship. You'll sail through Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia, Australia, and even a stop at the Great Barrier Reefs. 94 nights of the 123-day itinerary will be spent at sea, but you won't mind because you'll be staying in the most luxurious suite in the world. The excursion package includes five private tours of world-renowned attractions such as the Waitomo Caves in New Zealand and Mount Fuji in Japan. 
In all, there are up to 236 choices for shore excursions. Guests will be traveling exclusively by chauffeured car and helicopter, of course. The itinerary also explores some of Asia and Oceania's most appealing destinations, from Heilong Bay and Hanging Gardens of Bali to the New Zealand fjords and Hobbiton. For Christmas and New Year's, you'll be staying at the Park Hyde Hotel in Sydney, overlooking the iconic Sydney Opera House. This room has a rooftop suite with a king bed and a private terrace to enjoy the New Year's fireworks from. You'll also be having a day trip to the Blue Mountains, where you'll get a private tour of the scenic beauty. Your last cruise destination will be Fiji, where after seeing Mount Fuji, you're going to be flown back to London on a private jet where the journey originally began. Your luxurious cruise will have been 123 days by now, from November the 11th, 2021 to March the 13th, 2022. It works out to be somewhere in the ballpark of about $11,000 a day for the $1.2 million ticket. Good luck trying to go back to the real world after this, because this is not how the other half live. It's how the other 0.1% live. In fact, these cruise tickets are by far the most expensive tickets in the world that a cruise offers. The next most expensive, which are covered by the same Regent Seven Seas company, cost only $200,000 per ticket and $400,000 for the package, making it not even half of the price as the original one. Regardless though, these cruise tickets on the 700-passenger Seven Seas Marina will be a traveler's dream. Scheduled to begin on January the 6th, 2024, the 132-night sailing trip visits 66 ports in 31 countries, covering more than 34,000 miles in the process. It starts with a first-class ticket to a pre-cruise gala event in Miami, as well as ending in Miami, while crossing five continents, North America, South America, Oceania, Asia, and Europe during the cruise. And while traveling, you'll be staying in the Master Suite, which is a spacious 1,200-square-foot room that includes two spacious bedrooms with European king-sized beds, two marble bathrooms, a spacious living room, and two private balconies, not to mention butler service and all other luxurious amenities included. When on land, there are 442 shore excursions for no extra charge, including access to 61 World Heritage Sites, a new record for a single Regent cruise. And it seems the second most expensive cruise in the world was heavily in demand, for obvious reasons, as it sold out in less than three hours. So there you have it, the most expensive cruise in the world.